Let's reflect on what went well and what did not go well in the LGBTQ community. We will talk about introduction to LGBTQ myths with they have to face. Introduction LGBT that stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. In use since the 1990s, the term is an adaptation of LGB, which began to replace the term gay in reference to the broader LGBT community beginning in the mid to late 1980s. The initialism, as well as some of its common variants, functions as an umbrella term for sexuality and gender identity. About LGBTQ community. The LGBT community is a loosely defined grouping of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, LGBT organizations, and subcultures, united by a common culture and social movements. These communities generally celebrate pride, diversity, individuality, and sexuality. LGBT activists and sociologists see LGBT community building as a counterweight to heterosexism, homophobia, biphobia, transphobia, sexualism, and conformist pressures that exist in the larger society. Myths with they have to face. For lesbians, gay men and bisexual people, it is natural to have sexual attractions and relations with members of one's own gender. Bisexuals can also be attracted to members of the opposite gender. Some transgendered people consider themselves homosexual or bisexual and others consider themselves heterosexual. To act on these feelings is natural. Not to act on these feelings would be unnatural, forcing people to hide who they are and causing them great pain. It is the quality of the relationship one is in that is significant, not the gender of one's partner. Myth number one, same-sex parents harm children. Current research shows that children with gay and lesbian parents do not differ from children with heterosexual parents in their emotional development or in their relationships with peers and adults. American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. Myth number two, no one is born gay. Modern science cannot state conclusively what causes sexual orientation, but a great many studies suggest that it is the result of both biological and environmental forces, not a personal choice. In other words, sexual orientation in general, whether homosexual, bisexual or heterosexual, is a mixture of genetic and environmental factors. Myth number three, gay people can choose to leave homosexuality. The American Psychological Association adopted a resolution, accompanied by a 138-page report, that repudiated ex-gay therapy. The report concluded that compelling evidence suggested that cases of individuals going from gay to straight were rare, and that many individuals continued to experience same-sex sexual attractions after reparative therapy. Myth number four, an LGBTQ person is a danger to children. In fact, the Child Molestation Research and Prevention Institute notes that 90% of child molesters target children in their network of family and friends, and the majority are men married to women. Myth number five, bisexuals doesn't exist. The American Psychological Association published a study in which they measured female and male sexual arousal. They concluded that women and men, whether they identify themselves as homosexual or heterosexual, have bisexual arousal patterns. Myth number six, transgender identity is a mental illness. Transgender identity is not a mental illness. Transgender people may experience mental health issues because of discrimination and disapproval. We're done. Thank you.